Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Brag from Braggio, hey. fresh from his Hawaiian holiday, and Ben from Nolan TCG, fresh Hi, from man. Cup Noodle. I'm Cup Noodle. Bring him. Mm, bring Cup him. Noodle got me through a monsoon and a half. Really, it was just the half. It, it, it changed direction after I'd already bought the Cup Noodle, and I was like, well, I better eat it now. There's never not an occasion for Cup Noodle. Moving on, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Brag? Uh, only Master Jewel this week. Uh, mm-hmm. I went to play Locals for a deck that. Do you know what deck I was going to play? Good. Uh, otherwise, playing on Master Jewel, Belmonica in Jewel's Cup? Yeah. Yeah. Um, trying to. I've realised I can now play. What's the Come out? Come uh, Chimera, ha- what, at one point. Oh, the good the... Chimera, yeah. Yeah, yeah got the. Uh, one, there was missing something from the initial in the initial wave that is there now when I was looking through the list. So I'm like, oh cool, I can probably play a bit, a little bit of Chimera. But also, so many ultra rares. Mirror Sword Knight being an ultra rare is terrible. Well, I mean, if you it so- is the main card of the deck that gets everything going. Yeah, so. but it was a super. Yeah, but that's the TCG. No premise, which no. is supposed to be the expensive one. And it is just not for archetypes that they don't think people are going to play. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, I'm looking to play it, so I've got to crack some packs, because I am out of cards to disenchant, and I'm not spending money. Well, we Yet. will get on no, to... That's, that's a lie. We'll get on to that shortly. Um, but how's... It, no, we'll get into that. No, no. Val's rough. Yeah, I thought it might be. Well, I mean, drawing Max E will look goddamn... I, I, I want Max E gone in this game, so... Oh, 100%. I could do an just, entire podcast on Max E alone. More of just... It's a brick at times. I, I just... A card that can be a brick, ash is ash, whatever. But just, I'm keen for the Molchami, which will probably be worse. A hundred percent, it'll be worse, because you can stack them. We just start going. All right, top deck time. Let's go, uh, Max. A. Well, it would have been nice last turn, and now I, I mean, cannot extend with this. It's a case of most hand traps. But anyway, um, Ben, well, I did not resolve instant fusion this week, um, which was pretty sad. Uh, that cup noodles will forever stay sealed. Uh, what about ready fusion? Nah, I didn't do that either. Uh, we are T minus 10 days. Uh, 10 days away? 10 days? Yes. Yep. Yeah. I am now, I'm now on board for the next set as well. Yep. I'm all in. 10 days. 10 days till we get fusions in rush tools. Um, so oh, very Christ. much ready to go. I've got 8,500 gems sitting there ready to fire. I thought I'd uh, fucked up my timeline on when um, Raging Abyss was coming oh, out. We don't care about that. We're ten days from days. getting. <laughs> we're ten days from getting fusions in Rush Door, and that's a big day. Uh, it's gonna. They're not gonna release seven roads fusion for like ten no. sets, and that's really what I care about. So we're still another year and a half off me playing this game. Um, but yeah, that's the big news. Um, we never covered that in the news section, so just wanted to make sure that we we got across the board and made sure that we covered that. October 1st, they are releasing uh, Fusions and the Fusion World. Yeah, definitely the most important thing most coming critical... out of the OCG on October 1st. Yes. Mm. Definitely is. That's the only reason anyone is going to be paying attention. Is it this week? Or was it next week that the announcement is? Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. sick. Tomorrow, like 10, 11 p.m. Yeah. We'll be back next week with that. We'll be back next week. Um, but my week in Yu Gi Oh! was fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just continuing to play Fire Kings. Uh, deck works fine. Just losing one match every locals. It, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's just kind of there, isn't it? I'm making you. As Until... a fight off his sneeze. <coughs> a bless. Apologies for that. Anyway. Uh, my week. Uh, so I am currently on 60 card Lightsworn to Element. Um, initially it was just that, and it wasn't working particularly well. Uh, so then, as of Tuesday, I quite literally jammed in some Fiendsmith cards, uh, and that improved it immensely. Yeah, that's, that's typically how that works. Hmm. Yeah. So it's almost like being able to search ice, uh, is pretty free. And oh, not even that, just to... actually having stuff to do. Like, I, I felt that the board that I was making with the components that I had was somewhat limited, because I don't have the Thunder Dragon stuff handy. Because otherwise I'd do like the Bestial Thunder Dragon nonsense and do all that kind of stuff. I just don't have that engine available. Yeah. And it hasn't been reprinted forever. 
And I also can't be bothered chasing it because I'm like not that invested in playing it. Do you not own the stuff? No? How the Thunder Dragon stuff? No, I, I sold that like ages ago when Colossus first a, got banned. Do you have a Colossus? Yeah, I've got the Colossus. Oh. It's literally just like the actual Thunder Dragons that I need. Okay. Could have existed the like, We own that shit, yeah? Oh, so I haven't looked. Like I said, I'm not that invested. Um, but yeah, uh, the Fiendsmith stuff improved it immensely. Um, just working on some fine tuning points. Because uh, being a 60 card list, you eventually find out that some cards are useless and have no place in the deck. So I will slowly but surely work on that. Emphasis on slowly. Because there's nothing to play for. That's awfully grim. What do you mean there's nothing it's, to play for? Well, that's just my, for my position. My position. For your, your position. Pride. Yes. I don't know, Jake. Rush Duels is releasing Master's Fusions, and that's something to play for. What? Yeah. Fusions. Purple cards. Anyway. Um, and then Master Duel uh, started the Duelist Cup. Uh, doing quite well. Just at the moment, uh, vibing with Hawkist. It's still quite fun, because uh, Baron isn't banned there. So mm. I have things to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you sign purple cards, though? No. Oh. Baron is really not purple. Blue, black, and white. Okay. Hey, Sharkies. Don't talk about those. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's get into some news. Uh, so, uh, as we said, the Duelist Cup uh, has now started. So, currently we're in stage one. Uh, obviously, uh, stage two is a little bit more intense because they run it on weekends and it is a thing where you lit like a blind ladder and you have to grind out to be the highest to get anywhere. Uh, chances are I won't be participating oh. in that particular segment. Oh, I, you, I might be right. You just don't have the dedication. I don't have the time. It doesn't have the high. The what now? You said the battle of the highest. Well, yeah, no, I definitely don't have that. Um, but yeah, I'll play in it because like it's gems. Free yeah. games. Mm. Um, I will not be playing it. Because if, it is not Rush Duels. If I can convert Gems the Master Jewel into Rush Jewels. Please. That'd be great. Same client, Rush Jewels, Master Jewel when? What's the bet? They, they finally will release it and they'll put like seven roads to three alongside Regigas. And it's like sick, awesome. It, yeah. it wouldn't My be this. is just shit now. It wouldn't be this big a problem if the economy in Duel Links wasn't so fucking tragic. It's miserable. <laughs> it's really That's fucking bad. That's why I've been hoarding gems. Um, but, it's so fun though. Uh, circling back to Master Duel, uh, so in the same sort of time frame as the Duelist Cup going up, we now, now have yeah. a new Duelist Pass. Uh, so I think it's about <laughs> 700 gems uh, to buy, which yeah. for the most part you're getting... Yeah, yeah, shut up. Um, Did you forget to claim the last one? Which one of you fit, forgot to claim the last one? No? Why are you looking at me? I would never forget to claim them. You were the one! We pointed out last week, didn't we? Ah, oh, it's fine. Yeah. No, you told me you had to finish it and I said no. Ah. No. I'll... So you didn't get a bonfire, mate? Nope. Did you get a bonfire, mate? Mm -hmm. Good boy. Barely, though. <laughs> I'm sure it was like hours until it was expired. <laughs> Yeah, a couple of days. I was at like 20. I was just like, no, not trying. Uh, but with this Duelist Pass, uh, so obviously you get like the payback of the gems that you spent on it, whatever, whatever. Uh, so at level 50, uh, you get the Minerva, the Athenian Light Sworn icon. Uh, at level 25, you get a grey icon frame. Very classy, very timeless. You know, you're not going to take my Ash Blossom flowers away from me ever again. <laughs> um... At level 50, uh, there's an Aramage background. Uh, I think it's their new fusion slash search spell. Shout out to all the Aramage fans out there. Let us know in the comments if you're a fan of Aramage. Uh, and then at level... Five points by 400. And then hand yourself in. Did North, that get please. you hard? <laughs> Ar Aramage is not the fucking deck to be sending yourself to the police for. Mm. I think there's far worse. Like, priorities, Aramage is way down the list of call the police archetypes in terms of plant decks though it's like number four <laughs> sure <laughs> what not disagreeing yeah. in fact i'm disengaging moving on uh to, level... to the third <laughs> yeah 
Anyway, at level 75, the new mate for this pass is Raiko the Lightsworn Hunter. You! They should give us a retrain. They it's did? Just, no, it's just Raiko the Lightsworn Good Boy. Yeah. That's not a retrain, that's a rename. You can do both. You could do both. But what's to say that Hunter isn't a good boy? He is. Just needs to be acknowledged as such. In if the we're this, give up, like, I mean... Well, actually, he's not a good boy. Because he gets brainwashed by the Dark World. No, 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 no. We don't acknowledge that part. That that part's all secrets and lies. <laughs> that's, that's not part of... That's not canon. <laughs> yeah. Secrets and lies, Jake. Secrets and lies. Is it a secret or a lie? You can't have both. It's both. It's a super or something. You can't lie about it. You can't keep a lie a secret, otherwise it's not a lie. Just can. No. No, no. It's fine. <laughs> the, people are, the people at home understand. <laughs> They're or in the cars. Look, there is right there. If he was evil, he wouldn't be right there. Well, he's not evil there. Uh, in, sure, Weiss one's getting around at the moment. Do you see Weiss on here? Hmm. Because that bitch evil. Mm, Good boy. Can't be trusted. Evil. Mini JD also <laughs> can't be trusted. <laughs> yeah. Before we move off this, and we will move off this, uh, mm. do we play Raiko anymore? No. Do we play Weiss? Fuck yeah, we do. <laughs> uh, to celebrate the Raiko dueling, mate, can we please get Edison back in a dual trial? Thank you. Do we include Six Samurai again? Yeah. Please. Moving on, we have some announcements. So we'll start with some uh, V Jump promos. So a couple of weeks ago, we uh, saw the hint at a new Odd Eyes Synchro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, the full effect of that has now been announced. Uh, spoilers, it's fucking awful. <laughs> Um, awful. Hot Eyes Soul Blaze Dragon. Uh, when this card is sync, uh, special summoned, you can activate this effect. Special summon one pendulum monster face up from your extra deck. Yes. Yeah, as long good. as a monster special summoned by this effect is face up on your field, you can only special summon pendulum monsters. That's one. Yes. Yeah. No. Uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard, banish two other fusion, uh, synchro, XP, I'm assuming that's meant to be Xyz, uh, or pendulum monsters from your graveyard, special summon this card. Yep. Yeah. So there's two problems with this card. Mm. One, the lock means that you can't like link off the thing that you summon to Which then do other stuff. There. Just synchro with the next one. You go up, like you bring back one of the tuna tuna pendulums. Is it locking like, a link uh, to pendulum specifically? Then you go the... While the monster you special summoned with its effect is face up, you can only special summon pendulum. Yeah, so then isn't there just like a synchro pendulum you can do? Link pendulum, when? That has to be it, like you have to do the X's and all handle makes I don't know, maybe there's other stuff that sh could be, should be around this yeah. that just isn't immediately apparent. It's a pendulum the link monster. The other problem is, though, however, that it's a level 8. <laughs> yeah, so you use a level 1 tune with all the level 7s. I understand that, but, like, the synergy Dude. around that deck is that everything's level 7. Even the other synchro that they have is a level 7. But they've got a level 2 tune, and they can make it work with the level 6 um, magician. I guess. And then you bring back the two, and then you make Enlightenment Paladin. You make Bra oh, the other one. <laughs> Nirvana High Paladin. The bird sucked. The unicorn was great. What's this? Oh. The odd eyes. Those little odd eyes supports. The they? Oh, they were Performer Power yeah. Odd Eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah no, the un uh, I feel like both of them were played at some point, but yeah, the unicorn was better. Not uni and corn. Unicorn. I remember buying uni and corn because I was like, the last Pepe stuff was broken. Surely this is going to work somehow. Did you not yeah. read them? No. <laughs> Does that? Not at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, moving on from that, um, as I will call it, garbage, uh, we have the hint for the next one, uh, V-Jump promo. Uh, so this one is a direct uh, sort of... Well, I guess direct hint doesn't really make sense, but yes. a... Um, card that relates directly to the GX anime. Uh, so the full effects of it will be released on uh, the October October the seventh. Uh, have they released the Bowling name of it? Yeah. So the name of this card, we don't know the effect name uh, effect yet, but the name of it is Double Fusion. Um, oh, what did it do in the anime? So in the anime, you paid five hundred life points. This turn, you can use the following effects up to two times. Send from your hand or field to the graveyard fusion materials that are listed on fusion summon uh, fusion monster card and special summon that monster from your fusion deck. This is treated as a fusion summon. Uh, so the, hopefully is... it's a little bit better than that because that is just 
two polymerization that you have to pay life points for. I'm assuming they've revealed the fact that this new spell card is a continuous. No. Ah, uh, yep. Okay, sure. Sure. How? Yeah. For it to right. have that anime effect, it needs to be continuous or be written the same way as swords is. So it'll be interesting to see how it's written. How? <laughs> Unless it's just ruled the same way swords are revealing light is, yeah. and you just, once the two effects resolve, off it goes. Or it's just saying, like, kind of like additional normal summon. You get, like, an additional fusion summon. You can just go. Yeah, it's effectively paying 500 life points to contact fuse twice. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh,. Yeah, but we'll wait to see what the actual effect is. Hopefully it's a little bit better than that. Um, also, I'll take it if it's that. Uh, we have uh, the first announcement of some new support from the OCG Stories Volume 4. Uh, yeah. This is for the Magistus, which is one of the more heavy uh, archetypes that's going to be sort of explored within the OCG Stories. Is this Alistair support? No, because Alistair's not actually that good in Magistus. Yeah, but the support could be good for it. It won't be. Then I don't care. So, this new card is a level 4 light spellcaster, unsurprising, and it is named Spoon, the Seal of Magistus. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, discard this card, activate one of these effects, add a Magistus monster from your deck to your hand, except for Spoon. Uh, the attack of one face up monster your opponent controls becomes hard until the end of this turn. Uh, and then you can banish it from your graveyard, target one face-up monster you control, equip one Magistus monster from your extra deck or graveyard to it. When are we getting Spork? Uh, maybe Spork after. Spork gang. Mm. Personally, I'd rather have a Spork. It's a great multi-tool. If you're ballsy enough, you can sharpen the side of it, and it's also a knife. All three instruments. In Wait, one. don't you have a spoon in the shape of a shovel? Yes. Is that yours? That's not mine, but I definitely used to own some, hmm. and I got rid of them, and then they came back, so I was like, I'm fairly sure Zed may have bought them. Ben is being haunted by shovel spoons. Yeah, see, the original concept for purchasing a shovel spoon is because you have your little ramekins, and you make, like, a mince, and then, like, you get some fucking celery, and you make, like, grass, and you make it look like a garden, huh. and then you use the shovel spoons to shovel into some tacos. Huh. Yeah. Moving on, uh, <laughs> we have the TCG announcement for the Supreme Darkness. Uh, so, from what I've read, they've really not hinted yeah. at uh, anything specific. If this was a week ago, it might have been interesting because we didn't know about the crystals, but we know about the crystals now. Yeah, literally everything has been announced that they are hinting at. There is that, yeah. Which? So uh, we are getting quartzy rarezies in this one as well. Three months after Bonanza. We're getting more quartzy rezies. So oh, 24 months, isn't it? Isn't Bonanza just started in December? Yes. Ah, we do this every week. Yeah. yeah. I always think Bonanza is, is started in December. Start November. The other one is started in November. What's the other one? No idea. Crossover? Yeah, that one. I thought uh, that was in December. Uh, maybe I've mucked this up. My bad. Well, one's in November, Fine, one's two in months. December. Two months minimum. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or maximum. Sure. Maximum yeah. summon? So yeah, this Stop trying to bring rush doors into this podcast, how dare you? So will we, will, next year, will we get the January, next year, the year after, will we get the January pack in mm. that second week? Are we nearly there? Well, we're going to get the pre-release of this. It seems like he's coming forward one, month, one week yeah. every year. We're getting there. We're getting back to Bosch times. And then... <laughs> and then our YCS yes will be ruined again. <laughs> in the before time. I'm going to get now, YCS yes is in March now, for some reason. Which I don't hate. I actually yeah, like it. I'm, I'm about it. It kind of conflicts with uh, entertainment stuff, but... It's no, cheap, but... Well, yeah, we picked up on that. <laughs> Billie Eilish is at the start and the <laughs> Green Day is at the end. Could be worse. <laughs> the NRL could have also been on that weekend. Yeah, because it starts the week after. Yeah. And Souths aren't over there now, so... Thank God for Taylor Swift. Yeah. Last year they were repairing... Then closeted Swifty, question mark? No, no, they were repairing the stadium from the Taylor Swift damage on the grass. That's why the NRL games were cancelled, and thus we could have our YCS see. and we could all have our YCS. And by cancelled, I mean everything we played in Queensland. Yeah, they just played all everything else. Vegas. Yeah, that was a weird time, wasn't it? Doing it again Doing next it again. year. Me and Kurt can't go to Vegas. Yeah, why Vegas? Well, the Vegas games are on YCS weekend. Ah. Uh, 
Anyway, uh, so yeah, <laughs> uh, 24 of the uh, cards will be available in quarter century rare, yep. uh, as per usual, the secrets and the ultras. And then one card available as a quarter century secret rare, which will be that synchro that we discussed last week. Oh, really? Well, yeah. Are we, we getting, the, are we getting the year of the other dragon? Or do we get like two sets I think sets that's the next that? set. Oh, we, we got a whole year of the magician. Yeah, but they stopped caring about the magician pretty early on. And also, okay. it wasn't an entire year, it was only two. It should have been four. It was definitely three. It was supposed to be four of them. I don't think there was ever four, for us at least. I they think did was... three. The yeah. pack art's interesting. It's a little bit more zoomed in. It's just strange to me. You want to get the evil hero bulge in there? <laughs> Jesus. Um... Also, in uh, pack announcements, we have the next name for the next main set after Supreme Darkness, which is Alliance Insight. Um, more Duelist Alliance. Uh, mm. So, for, this is for the OCG, mind you. Uh, the fourth core booster pack for 2024 goes on sale January 25th, uh, which is literally the same week as what Supreme Darkness is for which us. Which is fine. I have no issues with just, this. just interesting. It should um, all be exactly three months apart. Mm. So nothing really specific to draw from the announcement because it's like the yeah. name the announcement. Fact that we're getting Burning Abyss and Shadol cards. Well, yeah, the name has people in a bit of a frenzy in that it says Alliance. So uh, potentially one of those archetypes is getting Both support. And we're getting support for Cleese. And we got wet one card of Cleese. Yeah. The new new challenges. Clee Fort <laughs> Disc Monolith. We challenge again. <laughs> Are we going to get Rage of the Best Leaks this week? We're due. I kind of hope so. Because... Sneak peeks in two weeks? Ten days. Well, ten days from air. Oh, soon we get the ghoul support. Yes. And new mall charm. Yeah. I'm less excited about that. My brain is currently refocused into uh, saving money for Japan mode. Uh, so my brain is now like... Do I need is it? Is the mole charm is the only <laughs> thing I can buy myself between now and the end of the year? Yeah. Because I'm going to have to buy the fucking... Buy the mole charm the other day with it hurt as well. I'm like, oh, it's here. It's, I've got, I've it's just there. Get, I've got to start getting it, but I really don't want to... I wanted to leave this door once, yes, but it's not getting cheaper. Yeah, it's really not, is it? Designated target. So, uh, moving on to some questions. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Our first one this week comes to us from 6R6. Uh, are there misprints that are worth more than a standard print of the same card to you? Yes. Depends on the misprint, though. I am not that big a fan of most misprints. I, like, I don't see the value in them. I do desperately want the um, Rainbow Dragon Evil Hero misprint. Yeah. Is, is it still crazy money to get one of those? Yep. Mm. Uh. I want that misprint. That's a it's an incredible misprint. Chasing like, up the Dark Paladin would be nice, finally just locking that in. Um, there was a time when I had... Four. Oh. I'll circle back to my second point, but there was a time when I had the entire booster box of Battles of Legend Life's Revenge. Um, Jesus. All nameless. Oh. Huh? So all oh, of the so ultra yeah. rares were nameless. We had like three boxes at our store. We're just... Yeah. Um, okay. So I managed to sell like a bunch of that stuff to... I think Cherry Collectibles at YCS Melbourne. So I had it all in my binder and they were like, where'd you get this from? And I was like, pulled it. And like, we'll pay you $5 a card. And I was like, have it. That's fair. And then they banned me. <laughs> Well, I mean, there was a bit that happened in between that, but sure. Yeah, there was a good solid, like, <laughs> two, three years there. And then they beat me. Fucking cherry. Uh, Dark Mirror Force without a name. It's one of the earliest misprints I remember seeing getting around. And I just like it. So, another mis misprint that I want are the counterfeit top deck cards. Uh, that were yeah. printed in like a higher rarity, or were they printed in lower rarity? Uh, it was just. I think it was, it was higher rarity. Yeah, that, that, it was. They, they printed them. I, th 
I think it was Secret Wrist. Yeah. So there's like a flame wingman that is like an unlimb print flame wingman that's printed as Secret Rare. Um, that effectively just top deck counterfeits. I want those. Like they're not technically a misprint, but I want those. I would prefer that over the regular. Um, but in terms of like paying higher money, because I'm assuming this is related to the whole secret foiling fiasco that's currently happening um, in the uh, Megatin community. Jake's just raises eyebrows like he doesn't know. You don't know what happened? I've not heard this. Oh, so there's like rampant misprints in the Megatins. So like prismatic secrets are being printed as regular secrets. Um, oh no, sorry, I did say this. There's yeah, yeah, yeah. name shifts everywhere, left, right, and center. Yep. Um, it the they keep having this. Well, not so much the secret pris secret issue. That's a somewhat new issue. So well done for finding another way to fuck your job up. But the name thing keeps happening. That's that's fine with me. I don't have an issue with the name for me. I just think it's cool. I never really look at the names. I, mean, I did notice the SP in the chat. Yeah, I saw that. It, like, I said in the chat, because someone pulled an SP and like, the name was off. It's like big enough to notice, but not big enough to, for someone to pay big money for, which is like the most annoying of misprints. Um, Dark Ruler No More. Oh, that was a good uh, one. Yeah. Dark Ruler No More. <laughs> no More. Um, technically no, not once per turn, because it's a different name. Um, so, there's those. And what do you put on your deck list? Dark Ruler No More. But then it doesn't show up in the card database. It's written right there on my card. I mean, I could write anything that I liked on the name of my card. Printed on. Especially all those nameless ones from Battles of Legend Life's Revenge. Yeah. Um, where was I? I forgot my point. Um, <laughs> what a blessing. Oh, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> there's now this kind of weird, touchy subject of would you pay four times the cost? For a tin secret rare, not prismatic secret rare, a tin secret rare um, sanctifier dragon, then it's just regular secret rare original print because they're the exact same thing. The set code is just changed. the set code is just different, and one is technically a misprint. Well, the other one's rarer, so you go with. You yeah. Go with them, you, but would you pay four times the amount for that? Mm. I would not. This mm. all could have been very easily avoided. If people just did their fucking jobs. It is rather interesting, though, like, that the, um... The point is worth that much, isn't it? Hey, but, um, the foiling is... It's not exactly, like, fucked up. It's perfect. Like... Yeah, it's, like, they someone's gone out of their way to fuck this up. Yes. This almost seems intentional. Like, when they did, like, the... They never confirmed it to be intentional, but they had the Pharaoh rares that were printed as ultra rare in one region and yep, secret yep. rare in the other. But they only ever advertised oh, that they were so, doing ultra rares. So this is happening in America, then? Uh, no, it's happening everywhere. It's happening everywhere? Yeah, okay. It, it's apparently so. Like, it's very common. Okay, um, so it's not just a uh, Texas doing Texas things. Yeah. But... Like, those fucking god packs of, like, all um, starlights that they also had an issue with in Texas. That was funny. Sure. To single-handedly devalue the market with one booster box. And that's the thing, it probably wouldn't have devalued the market and the people that had all of these starlights could have just made a fuck ton of money if people hadn't just like gone out and gone, here's this sea of starlights. <laughs> Guys, you'll never guess what. My entire booster box is starlights. They still pay me money though. Yeah. Full price. Full price. Um... Yeah, uh, to s summarise, uh, no. Uh, <laughs> no, I wouldn't pay... I certainly wouldn't pay four times as much for the same card because X and Y. Like, that makes no sense to me. Um, but as the years go on, it just feels like the tins mean less and less. Check in the time. Okay. We're on time here. Yeah, yeah. see, so yeah. record time. Record time from Jake's home. I was going to be subtle about it and just go off camera and just do a thumbs up off how camera. How does 33% of the focus leave the screen and it be subtle? They've all tabbed by now. Come on. <laughs> Only like one person commented when we weren't here for a whole episode. <laughs> that is disappointing. Why don't you love us? Well, Next well, question. They listen to us, of course. Yeah. Why don't you love our faces? Actually, I can answer that. Uh, Drew D asks, 
In premium prices. product, like Mega Tins, why does Konami short print stuff? It makes no sense, because as soon as the community finds out the ratio is bad, the sales fall off a cliff. Wouldn't they sell far more tins if the chase cards were the same ratio, maybe slightly worse, than other cards of that rarity? No. Dude. Because the point of short printing these cards is to be able to sell them again. So you don't want to have so many yeah. in circulation that you kill the value. So like you know, they want SP to still be 50 to $70. So they can sell Bonanza. Yeah, so they can put in another pack and then sell that pack as well. Quick point on that though, I feel like Ash Blossom is an example of you can still get good value from your reprints and still have availability because they printed the fuck out of Ultra Ashes for a long time there yep. and they were still worth a lot. But do you remember the first reprint of Ash? Oh yeah, it was bad. And the second reprint of Ash? <laughs> Where That's... it was a super rare in an all super and ultra set and it was one per box. So... Okay, so SP is the one I've seen that it takes a few cases to get to. Are we? Isn't that just every secret rare in the set, or is SP is coincidentally harder to get? Okay, so yeah, they're, um, they're short printing them. Cool. Yeah, you yeah, can <laughs> because like the actual rate that you pull them is so poor, it's like barely noticeable. Yeah, but like it's noticeable. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah, because of any of the cards in that entire set, it's like one of five that you're paying attention yeah. on. For some reason, like another one of them that's like that is one of the Exodia limbs. I think it's like the right oh, I arm saw or that. something like that. <gasps> Wait, I have the right arm. It's, it's one, yes! of them, one of them. It may not be. I, one of the arms is like hilariously harder to get than the others for like no reason. Mm. Um, in the EU, transaction rollback is printed at a higher rate. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. These cards aren't like, they're not short prints. They're just seemingly when they did the sheets, they Crazy were like- Crazy clumping? No, no. So when they do the sheets, I'm assuming they have like set numbers as to each one. So like instead of appearing twice on a sheet out of every three sheets, then they appear once on every third sheet. So there's like just less in circulation. Or the SP is the bottom two rows of one sheet and then the whole next sheet. Yeah. And then that then, sheet's... They're not short prints, they're just underprinted. Or people from the factory. A, a they, short print is typically like one to three. With no evidence. Or fucking secret forces where it's one to 36. Although Whereas an underprint is just like, there's just every six of one you pull, there's one less of that one. Yeah. In fairness, they have never said that in like side sets or tins and stuff like that, that they wouldn't short print. Yes, they did. No, they said in main sets they wouldn't. I thought they were getting rid of the short print commons. That's the thing that when they did that big announcement, it was that, hey, we won't have a designated short print common, so no more vanity's emptiness. We will now just print those cards as secret. <laughs> ah, that's very annoying. Uh, second question really. from Drew D. What is the best deck in the game's history relative to the meta around it? Tier. Like, they have done multiple, like, non ban list tourneys, and Tier has won, I think, every single one. Relative to the format around it, it is Pepe. I mean, yeah, if you take a deck that went from, uh, like, relatively playable status oh, yeah, to, true. holy fuck, yeah. this is incredible, no one can beat this, to, oh, we had to kill it. Like, no other deck has made that quicker turnaround. Yes. Spar. I, I didn't. Spiral, the Spiral match didn't seem unwinnable though. Like it was always going to grind out the numbers because it was just a better deck. Like, I'm assuming. Like we only had like a month of fucking full power Spiral, like proper Spiral. Yeah. Um, like that was unwinnable. Get machine duped on a fucking any of them, and it's game. I mean, like, I guess it's probably versus lose. shit because like that was the moment. Like you get pro days. Yeah. If you got hit on a machine dupe and you didn't have the way to, like, interrupt, you were fucked. Game over. You lost. Next game. Magicians didn't have the worst matchup to counter swing. Pen so. Madge was okay into it. Not amazing into it, but okay into it. It would have been a lot better if we were given Electromite as well, but here we are. I felt better. I mean, obviously, it's yeah. Okay. yeah. Like, I can't compare you the You got an like, three months later. So, yeah. Like, that's, that, that's Samurai 1, like, before the nerf. I guess I can't really comment on it because I wouldn't have had that much experience with it. But yeah, post 
I, I felt way worse at the Bosch YCS with Cosmo as opposed to Magicians against Pep Spiral. Oh, well, the Spiral YCS was just nerfed Spiral. Yeah, yeah, so like, that's the thing. Like, Spiral was so bad, I once won a Locals in an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah. Like, that thing was the second Locals with... So, like, this was a week before the uh, emergency ban list for Spiral. Um, yeah, I won Locals in an hour and 20 minutes playing Spiral. Because I got there at 7 o'clock, was like, I have to leave at 9. 8.20 rolled around, and I was like, damn, can't believe I'm leaving already. That and, was a wonderful time. And in comparison to their formats, the second round of Dragon Rollers, like, dr you just had to run Dragon Rollers. That was a, the best way to play that yeah. game. No spell books, we're going to stop them then. Six cents ruler. You could make an argument for... Yeah. Zodiac to an extent as well. Yeah. Um, well, every other deck had to include Zodiac in order to compete with true. Zodiac. I thought, pure, I thought some pure true Unless Dracos like just, just run around. Like, yeah, it was just the better way to play. That that felt like, I mean, it feels like Spiral, where it's really good. But I don't think it's, it was so far above. It's still not tier, though. Wait, why are, we, do be crazy. why are we putting the cups down gently today? We don't, we don't have the centralized mic system anymore. I mean, it's I started probably, copying Brad because Brad's been putting down very gently. It's probably not a bad well, thing to get into me. anyway, it's rather than... Cool. If, I, if I drop this full, like, full, like, full weight, it's going to clip. Yeah. And then last question from Drew D. Hey. Uh, are third-party event holders allowed to hold cash Yu-Gi-Oh events? I believe the old ARG series had cash prizes, if yes. he remembers right. So why yeah, don't or why can't stores hold events and pay out actual cash prizes? Is it a Konami blackmail thing? <laughs> uh, I believe if you're giving cash prizes, they can deregister you as an OTS. Yes. Um, so so there's your answer. <laughs> yeah, like if if you can't turn up to a store and win, like and get an OTS championship, like and qualify for your regionals, it's a bit of a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Qualify for you. What WCQ? Sorry. Um, I mean, it's a bit weird that we don't have enough like random Yahoos that can just hire events, like hire an event space and run a cash event. I'm you putting had, your hand up to do it? I've just had that flashback of remember when they were like, "We're doing our own ban list, guys," and then yeah. everyone was just like, "Well, they jumped the shark. No more paying attention to them anymore." It, <laughs> the ban list. I remember being. Well, we've definitely. Like, I mean, it's been a couple years since we've done this rant. We can. We can tread back on that ground. I like that ban list. I mean, I was indifferent to ban list, but just the 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 comments of, oh, but they're also selling cards, so they can like they can fluctuate the market, and I can base ban list off stuff they want to sell. It's like, yeah, like Konami. I was gonna say, this doesn't sound <laughs> too like, dissimilar was, to the system we're in. It was so wild. I'm like, is this really the hill that a lot of you are gonna die on? Like. Oh, sorry. I was talking about the Konami ban list that Konami released, ah. not the ARG list that ARG went. That list was shit. Here's our ban list. Oh, I thought um the ARG look, that started when we went like a long time without a ban list. No, no, that happened like three months into COVID. No, I no, do no. That. Yeah, because people remember were that. like, "We need to ban Block Dragon. Block Dragon's a problem." And Konami went, "Here's a ban list, guys." Uh, oh, I'm Alter guys, I'm, Alter multi guys, three. Two other cards I'm thinking twenty. Seventeen-ish. Oh, okay. No, I was I was talking about the COVID one. Oh, yeah. When yeah, Konami went. Here's three cards that are unbanned. That is it. Yeah. And then ARG went. No, all of our online series need a new ban list. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Konami really left us out in the fucking rain in that I time frame. I thought it was great because I had bought all of that Emancipator and was like, I really want to be able to play this physically. God, you really do just like fall back into these things, don't you? Oh. <laughs> Adam Emancipator is not a problem, it's fine. Snake Eyes isn't a problem, it's fine. I loved Adam Emancipator. Huh? Although I never really played Adam Emancipator the way you're supposed to play it. I liked it. Probably not. Gemini I mean, FTK? No, it wasn't ever Gemini yeah. FTK, but it was Gemini Adam Emancipator. So like you just shit out like fucking map beasts and shit. And like your opponent would interrupt you and you're just like, oh no, anyway, I'm going to Gemini Fusion again, get some more resources, I've read on this, I'm going to make this, and off I go. At that point, you should have just played an FGK. I don't think it was possible. They had banned Linkross, I think. Well, Linkross had just released. Eh, it was probably possible, I just wasn't doing it. Disappointing. Yeah, yeah 2015, that's right. Yeah. So Next. They, did, they did it twice. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> 
PPG might have done something as well. But yeah, it's just kind of weird that third party places, like some Yahoo, just, I don't know, do 50 bucks entry and like so, top heavy. So with that, there was, again, <coughs> over COVID, like ARG was obviously doing it, but you had a lot of like um, sort of smaller tier places doing those smaller tournaments as well with like a $20 buy-in. I don't think we ever paid anything to you, did we? Uh, like we got stuff, but I don't remember ever giving you anything. I think I, we did like a monthly one where we paid for it. Oh, uh, maybe. Yeah. You could be right. But I was talking like more so like on like a, a Facebook page, you would like pay 20 bucks oh, and it'd be yeah. like an eight man um, sort of single elim kind of thing. That's how we met Fox. Hmm? That's how we met Fox. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. It's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Showing up to our online locals. Yeah, and destroying us all. <laughs> that was fun. He would, have, he would have won that championship if he had come in enough time. Was he in the first one or the second one? I think it was the second the one. The second one. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, I think Josh it was... cheated his ass off in the final. That was <laughs> the most ridiculous shit. No, it was the semi-final, wasn't it? Because, um, no, wasn't it? Because oh, it was fine. Logan and Lewis in the final. And Logan had lost before it even started because he got ghost mourned. Uh, Lewis had Nibiru, and we had time rules in place. No, Lewis won the first one. Lewis, did he? I yes. thought I won the first one. You won the regular season for the first one. Oh, I won the point tally, yeah, yeah. okay, yep. So yep, you yep, got yep. the ulti crush guard virus, Yes. and Lewis, Lewis got, got the play map <laughs> yeah, for winning the whole thing. Josh got the store credit for winning the second stage, the, yeah. the second one. Okay, yeah, all caught up now. Uh, next There's question. There's the law of COVID tournaments. Got it. Part of me has fond memories of that. The rest of it wants to purge it from my brain forever. Neil's a rough time. Next question is from Caleb. What is your funny... No, sorry. I can't read. What is your favourite gimmicky slash jank card that you find fun? Oh, I was meant to look this up. Does... Kizan count? No. (laughs) Why doesn't Kizan count? Because it's not... Gimmicky or janky? It's just <laughs> another piece to you in your FTK. Okay. I know Lachlan's answer. Lachlan's answer is Paradise Smasher. Oh, uh, yeah. The God. classic. God. Yeah. Um, Trampoline Enix. Trampoline Enix? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know what mine is. If it can't be Kizan, I don't know. Um, I think mine would be Metaphys Decoy Dragon. That checks. I won't. I won't question. I trust you. Because <laughs> I believe the, you. Well, you remember the old decoy dragon, where it's like if you attacked it, it summoned the dragon, and you were forced to attack the new dragon. It's a weird looking dragon, decoy dragon. But yeah, it is a bit weird. Um, Metaphys decoy dragon has the pitfall where it does the same thing for Metaphys that are like engraved or banished, but it doesn't force you to attack anything. It just puts no. a different one on the board. So, no, no very Like, good. it can trigger other stuff, but if you don't have anything to trigger, it just goes, ha-ha! Would you like to redeclare? Well, I mean, <laughs> a, genuine, a genuine decoy where it's just over in the, like... A forced decoy isn't a good decoy, I guess. It's Duke Frog. Yeah. Need a little hat. Professor. You got his degree? Oh, that's right. You... This was, again, uh, podcast law... You wanted uh, frog support that was Professor Frog. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we need Tafe Frog. <laughs> Tafe Treaty Frog. <laughs> uh, don't be funny. Gimmick, gimmick, gimmick. I have one more gimmick. Oh, Pokey Drago. Oh, yeah. The Retrain. Retrain's okay. The Retrain's it's actually, actually not bad. Good. Yeah. Uh, next question is from a toothbrush. What do you think are some good I decks... Toothbrush. New comment. Sorry, that wasn't halfway through a sentence. What do you think are some good Question. decks to learn the game with? Uh, he's recently come back into the game after 12 years and has some success with Earth Machine, but he feels like he's missing out on a lot of the game. Bro, if you've come back to the game and you're comboing off with Earth Machine, you can play whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> Earth Machine is famously convoluted. Yeah, uh, it also decks are complicated. It presents as a monster deck, but it is very much a back row deck. <laughs> kind of. But yeah. If you're playing that, like, good on you. Yeah, you can learn... The great thing is, between, like, now and 12 years ago, there are so many more resources to learn how to play any deck you want. You have 
endless different um, YouTube videos to watch different combo lines, different discussions, different replays. You've got Facebook groups coming out the fucking wazoo about different archetypes and how Probably best to play them. You've got to filter. You, got you to do filter. have to have your sense about you because you will just get some groups that are dominated by one fucking bozo who just won't stop posting about their shit fucking garbage lists. So, like, you have a wealth of knowledge at your fingertips, um, but if I was to suggest a deck, like, that's good to come into the game with... Fire King Snake Eyes. Anything with Shifter. <laughs> yeah. If you want to turn your brain off, uh, pick a Shifter deck. Um, if you want to thing. learn I combos... I think we're insulting this guy's knowledge if we say a Shifter deck. Well, that's why I said if you want to turn your brain off. We're giving you options. Oh, okay. Were we actually going to say that? Huh? What were you actually going to say? I was going to say some level of Cyburst deck. Oh, yeah. Hey. Little Malice. Uh, I mean, like yeah, going. I mean, combine yeah. combine the Shifter and the Cyburst. Malice. Um, yeah, uh, in the current format, it's kind of hard to say. Like, there's so many different play styles. Um, but contrary to a comment I made a while back, um, a, a comment I think we've all made a while back, um, don't pick a floodgate slash stun deck because although you may win games because you just like lock people out of the game you won't learn anything about the current game state because you're not letting your opponent actually do anything we once had someone come to our locals that did this six months later and losing every game later he was like well I'm not okay I'm better than this game yeah and the, the issue was he was getting out floodgated by the other floodgate players that we also have yeah there's a lot of them at our locals. It's becoming a problem. Um, becoming? Yes. Sir. <laughs> if anything, it's better than it's ever been. <laughs> I mean, yeah, currently the Floodgate players are taking a hiatus. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm really glad I didn't shot last week. Wait, what Floodgates are you playing? Mm-hmm. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, for God's sake. So sick of that fucking card. Last question is again from 6 r 6 Out of the gadget cards... Which is your favourite? Green. Best artwork slash effect? Green. I'm going to go with red. You said green? Green is the best one. Well, I suppose that pigeon holds me a little bit, doesn't it? I'm going to say Cyburst Gadget. Hey! Oh my god, he's a genius. Cyburst Gadget is a really good card. Card is bonkers. (laughs) (laughs) Why is it yellow, green, and red? Traffic lights, isn't it? But they're not like they could have gone with yellow, green, and blue in the primary colors. Oh, sorry, no, not green. Green is the one we cut out. Replace it with blue gadget. Why have we gone with not three primary colors? Gone with two primary colors and then green. Two words. Pink gadget when. Traffic lights. Wait. Okay. So I'm, I'm tripping balls here. Have we got a blue gadget yet? No. Can we get a blue gadget that's a link monster? Please and thank you. We got platinum, gold, and silver. I was yeah. gonna say those are also very good gadgets. I like gold. I like gold. <laughs> I, like I like gold. gold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> circling back though, Cyberverse gadget is actually <laughs> insane. The card is bonkers. Summons back shit from grave and then creates a token for further link place. Yeah. What more can you ask for? Better link monsters to play with. A trap that has a grave effect. <laughs> Trap gadget? Sure. Oh wait, no. That that's not their whole gimmick, isn't it? You're meant to have all the gadgets in play and then summon the big fortress that gains attack because there's Oh gadgets. yeah. Yeah. The, the that's monsters. like the whole thing. Yeah. Which you could bring out with Silhouette Rabbit. Hmm. <gasps> True. Oh my god. Gadgets <laughs> in twenty twenty four. Normal gold summon green. Green search. Link two for hat rabbit. Get the trap. Somehow get them all back on the field so that the trap matters. Activate soul charge. Because <laughs> that exists. After you've painful choiced. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that does conclude us for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are watching along, feel free to like and subscribe. If you are listening, feel free to favourite. Jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all next week. Peace. Goodbye.